Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add Bootstrap 4 navigation to a Shopify team. As you can see, currently our team does not look good. The navigation is the default design that we have here. It has a search box and nothing looks good. So let's add, start adding the Bootstrap navigation that look like this to our website. First of all, I will search for the navbar. And also, not to forget, this video is sponsored to you by MindArc. They are the top leading agency in Sydney and they make highly premium custom built Shopify and Magento website. So if you want to see if you want to build any Shopify or Magento stores, they can help you if you contact them. So let's start adding the navigation to our website. Uh, if I come to the navbar section of Bootstrap 4, I scroll down. These are the examples. So they are nice. They are like you can customize it of course it is just a default one so let's start adding them to our navigation to the website if i open the layout here and inside the theme let's see where is the current code that is displaying the navigation here it is in a section called header so let's open that section if i open the section folder here you can open the header and this is the code we have if i check out it has a lot of code you can remove them if you don't want but i will remove them step by step so close up everything let's start adding it so if i scroll down first of all i will show you where those all stuff appears this is the logo that appear here it has a search box and mini cart that will send you to the cart page if you check out the url at the bottom of the page it is going to send you to the cart page all we are interested in the design the navigation in this video so if i scroll down this is the navbar rule here and it is going to take the navigation from the section setting menu whatever menu was that and it will display all the navigation here if i scroll down for the setting you uh, if you watch the previous video you know where the settings come from section settings come from the bottom of the website which is here if you check out this is the logo picker this is the range for the max and this is the menu here the id appear here link list menu whatever the user select here it will display that one for you for now there are some other codes also here what are these we'll talk about them in the future video don't worry about that one that is important do not remove that part here so if i scroll up here again to the navigation everything looks cool except the design so let's check out how the bootstrap will look bootstrap have a navbar of these classes okay cool i'll add this one I will add it step by step and I might skip some part of this because it will take a lot of time if I do it in the video. So I will add this class to the navbar. Looks cool. I will collapse this one. And what else we have here? If you check out, this one is the toggle for mobile. Have you seen this hamburger menu? This is for that one. So let's add this one also. If I copy this and you can paste it. I will show you which one is that. First of all, this navbar will be the brand here. You can display the logo here. For now, I'll put it as a navbar. This is that hamburger menu or the icon toggler. So let it be there. This is how it looks. And next up, this is the UL you have. And this is the UL we have here. Inside this U UL tag, we have all the list tag here. So what we can do is, all you have to do is add this one to the parent of the UL, right? This is how it looks and it will close the nav for me and I will grab everything from the UL. Let's just indent it a little bit and I will move it inside this tag here. Looks good for now. It is inside that except it must have these classes, right? So I will add those classes. The reason I do it step by step is to make you understand. Otherwise, I could just create a snippet and give you and I do have that snippet which is an adjust and the github i will link it below this video if you search for the bootstrap navbar it is under my name if you check out my github repo you can copy paste this one and it should work just fine and i will improve it as we go but for now i am adding it because it will help you understand everything for now if i save it let's see how it looks except there are some other stuff for navigation it must have this class here right if you have an li each li must have the nav item class i will add those also this is our li here i will add this one and there is another one so what is this condition for here it is going to check if the link has the list the list is not equal to blank 
it means the links has a sub menu if it has a sub menu display another drop down for that one that drop down can be the let's say the drop down menu i will do that behind the scene but for now this is how it looks so i will save it how the links the links also must have this class so i will add this one as a last uh, section here copy this and you can save it now if i wait for a few seconds until it update and now i refresh my page here let's see yeah it is looking better now here except there are some missing parts here let's see what are those missing parts if i come to my code here we have everything put properly and we have the collapse navigation and everything looks fine if i scroll down you have the nav bar and the missing part for this one is the sub menu here if you don't have the sub menu it will look fine so what is the sub menu are going to do if i check out the navigation here i have this menu test these are not going anywhere but this is the sub menu of that one if you check out you can add another sub menu to this one i will have only one level so i will bring it back to the original place here so this is the drop down menu i will save it now to save time all i have to do is i'm going to remove this part and i will paste this snippet you can use that snippet i have already done the code for you how about if we put this code somewhere else and include it here that is what we do for the snippets the snippets are for that you can put reusable code here i will just create a new file here and i will call it navbar.liquid you can do the same thing and just copy this code from github repo going for the raw and copy everything and now i'll paste it here once you paste it here all you have to do is just include it here just use the word include and give it the name of navbar whatever name you give except the extension that is dot liquid you don't give that one so if i check it out a snippet here is my navbar this time if i come to my website and refresh the page it should display my navigation properly as you can see navbar homepage and everything looks good except the drop down is not working the reason is because we do not have we didn't add the javascript the bootstrap uh, javascript file this is how we can add it if you come to the website you can again go to getting started i will show you how they add it because it is important that you have to know what else they need when you come to the download yeah, okay let's go to the webpack because we use webpack this is how you can import it before you import it make sure you read the note these are the dependencies javascript and popper js bootstrap 4 will not work if you do not install popper js and jquery so all i have to do is i have to come here and install them again i will install them and it will take a few seconds to install so after you install uh, jquery and popper js all you have to do is just open your source directory here through the js app.js and in here we will import it so for now i will remove these codes for vue.js because we do not need them and all you have to do is import jquery uh, bootstrap and popper js so this is how you import it you do not import j bootstrap the first time so the first thing you have to import is jquery so you say import the same way jquery this is how it works and then you have to import popper.js that js so if you have any issue importing them make sure you name them properly here so they are already here if i check it out this is the popper.js this is jquery the name should match these names and the dependencies that is how it did be imported if i save it for now and i will check my compiler that it compiles successfully or not if it give us any error it means we are not importing the proper packages if it was successful then everything should work fine so it is uh the first time it is going to take a little while but it was successful it means our javascript should work fine i will wait for this one to upload our js now it did compile it to the source directory now it is uploading it is a little slow because my computer is a bit slow so it is it did upload the javascript one now if i come here i will give it a hard refresh we are on the search page by the way that's why it is not showing the home page 
and let's click on this one yes it is working just fine as you can see also the the mobile menu should work also so if i bring it to the a little smaller resolution this is the mobile menu yes everything looks good we will add the logos in the next video thank you for watching i will see in the next video